Okay, so this is how to solve the problem number three on the fall final free response practice packet that um, we've given out. Um, bear with me, I, my old style is broke, so this one is what we're going to have to work with. Okay, so let's look at the problem and see what's given to us. Okay, a car is traveling with an acceleration of three meters per second. Its initial position is four meters and it starts at rest. Draw a quantitative velocity graph. Also draw a position graph and motion map with correct initial and final points. So this means for us that we are going to um, kind of just see what it means to, um, whoops, let's see if we can, um, let's see. Um, what that means, okay? So we have an initial initial position of, I believe it was four meters, okay? So that means that our initial, our initial position is four meters. And our acceleration is three meters per second. That means it's changing three meters per second for every second. And it means that we are also starting so our initial velocity is equal to zero meters per second. And since we're here at the velocity time graph, let's just go ahead and fill that in, okay? Um, so we have our initial velocity happening at zero meters per second. And for every second, or it's going to increase. Okay, so let's see, this is not the best. I know, I'm sorry. But it's going to increase three meters per second for every second because that's our acceleration, okay? So we are going to, um, whoops, let's see where that went. All right. Um, we're going to make it so that it increases by three meters per um, meters per second. Go so another three would be six, and then nine, twelve, fifteen, and then eighteen. And then don't forget to add your units. Okay. So then next we'll come over here, and we know that it's going to go up by threes. So we'll just go, um, so let's see, we'll go 6, 12, 18, and we know at one second it's about here, two seconds it's there, three seconds it's here, four is here, five's here, and then six is there. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and it makes this line, okay? Um, and so we have our velocity time graph and table done. Let's come over here and work on our um, position time graph. And we know that because our velocity is increasing that our position time graph is going to make a different shape also. And since we also know that um, it's given to us and it starts at four meters per second, let me see if I can make this bigger actually. All right, whoops, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, okay, uh, let's see, let me erase that. Okay, so it's at four meters and for every second, it's going to increase Um, it's going to increase three meters per second. So how do we get from here to here? Well, what we can do is take the area underneath this line and remember that this area, okay, this area is equal to one half base times height or 
you have um, your velocity, your change in velocity, times your time, which is here. Okay, so we have um, one half times the change in velocity, which is 18 minus zero, so that'll be 18 meters per second. That's a parentheses times the amount of time, which is six. Okay, and we know that 18 times six, or we could go six divided by two, half of it would be three, and then 18 times three, we have um, 18 times three, so we have 24, carry the two, three times one plus two is 54. Okay, um, so we'll come over here and we'll know that the displacement is 54. I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, and so we have four, uh, whoops, four, plus 54 will get us to um, 58 down here. All right, so then um, we'll just do a one. Um, so we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll, we have one, two, three, four, five, six lines, and we know we wanna get to 58. So maybe we'll just go by sixes, okay? So six, six goes down here. Oh wait, no. Um, we'll go by tens, I'm sorry. So um, we'll go 10 down here, and then 60 is gonna be up here. So at zero seconds, it starts at four meters, which is less than a half, and at 58, which is just a little bit less than 60. So, and we know it'll make that shape. All right, so next part is explain a sentence what it means to have an acceleration of three meters per second. So it means that the, um, let's see if I can just maybe type this out. Okay, it means that the car is tr um, increasing speed by three meters per second for every or let's see, I can change that. Okay, we're actually going to go ahead and say that for every one second, the car gains speed of three meters per second. I'm not totally sure how great this English is, but um, that's pretty much what we want you to say. And how fast is the car traveling after two seconds? So then we're going to look back at this graph and see that the car is traveling for six meters per second. So um, let me type another one here, actually. Okay, that won't let me do that. There. So the car is traveling for six meters per second. Um, after two seconds okay and then are the forces acting on this car balanced or unbalanced and um, we know that we know that the car is unbalanced the or the car the forces acting on the car are unbalanced because the speed or velocity is increasing. It is not constant, which means that the acceleration is not equal to zero meters per second per second. Okay, let me just move this text box over so that we can see it better, okay? And then the motion map, um, I don't think we'll probably require you to draw a quantitative motion map, but um, it will probably look something like this. Um, you wanna make sure your lines are connected to the dots, okay. 
All right, and then for the proportional reasoning, is that it? Oh, here, one more question. What is the total displacement of the car after two seconds? And so we want to say how much the car was displaced. So the car was displaced 54 meters, okay? Let's see. If we, okay, we know that the total displacement of the car is represented underneath the. This is represented by the area under the slope on the velocity time graph. We use one half, area is equal to one half base times height, or delta x is equal to one half vt to show the displacement. When, okay, and so then we have area is equal to one half um, the change in velocity, which is 18 meters per second per second times time, which was for six seconds, we get that the area is equal to 54 meters. Okay? And then here for the proportional reasoning, if the acceleration of the car were increased to six meters per second per second, but it traveled for the same time as above two seconds, how fast would it be going? So if the car if the acceleration was increased to six meters per second. Now, if you remember, it was going at three meters per second earlier. So now that means that if it goes up from three to six, the acceleration has um, doubled, okay? But it traveled for the same time, so that means the same time gets a one. In order for this statement to be true, two is equal to something over one, it must be two. Since this is the last thing we fill out, this is what's going to go, and it's asking for how fast. So we do two times the change in velocity is equal to, whoops, uh, I forget. Okay, we're gonna move this over. So we have um, two as our coefficient. Our original value, if we look up here, it's 18 minus zero, so that's 18. Um, we have 18 meters per second, and so our final value is going to be 2 times 18, which is 36 meters per second. And the last thing is to fill out our sentence um, when the acceleration of the car is doubled to maintain the same time the car's change in velocity must also double okay let me see if we can there we go whoops okay and i think that is it